Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 29th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out some scroll bar properties in CSS. As you can see for this tutorial I've created a file called scroll.html and in this file I have uh, applied a few properties to the paragraph element within the style section. So I've created a border for uh, all paragraphs. Uh, the border is going to be two pixels thick, solid and black. And then I've also set the maximum height and maximum width to 250 pixels each. And then uh, we have uh, overflow property which we are going to encounter for the first time in the course. We haven't seen it in the past tutorials. And uh, then I've also floated all the content to the left of the page. And then within the body, I have uh, an H1 level heading which has the text sweet child of mine. And then within the paragraph text uh, tags, I have uh, the lyrics from the song Sweet Child of Mine, right? So when I see this page in my browser, this is how it looks. So, you know, there's a box that has uh, two pixels uh, thick border. It's solid and black. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the, the dimensions of the box, uh, you know, do not allow the text to be contained. As in, you know, the box is uh, not large enough for the text to be sufficiently contained so the text is overflowing and if you want to prevent this then there are a bunch of values that you can supply to the overflow property and, we, and we're going to check them out one by one so the first value that you can give is uh, uh, is hidden right so when you type hidden here save and refresh the page you'll only be able to see the text that can be fit inside this box and uh, the text that cannot be fit will not be shown right so this is not really cool you know it uh, restricts the user from seeing the entire text or in this case the you know entire lyrics of the song uh, but sometimes people do like to use this uh, value and uh, you know if it suits your cause then you can use it but the one that appeals to me the most is auto right so if you would type the auto property save the file and refresh you would see a nice little scroll bar that you can use to you know just scroll inside this box and view the entire text and uh, you know if you would uh, increase the dimensions of this box to 1000 pixels let's change the maximum height to 1000 pixels as well as the maximum width 2000 pixels I'll save the file and when I refresh it in my browser we see that we no longer have the scroll bar because it's not required right uh, the box now is large enough to contain the text but if you use the scroll property you will always have the scroll bar irrespective of the dimensions of your uh, box you'll always have the scroll bar so I've put scroll here and when I refresh we see that the scroll bar is back but uh, it's not active because it's not required and uh, if I would reduce the dimensions of the box again to you know let's say 300 pixels height and 300 pixels width we'll have the scroll bar still but it will become active now because again the text is you know the box is not large enough to fit all the text so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you in the next video till then take care